Hey guys, it's Luke from Diamond Wake here, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the O'Brien GTX bindings. Uh, but before we get into that, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and uh, check out our Instagram. Uh, that would be in the description. So uh, yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so here's the box that they come in. Um, it's a green box, as you can see. Uh, O'Brien Water Sports, and it has their logo up in the top right corner. Um, these are size 11 to 13, and they're in the aqua color, which has a gray and an aquamarine type color. Uh, so let's open up the box. Okay, so before we get to the uh, actual bindings themselves, uh, I'm going to go over some of the binding tech that's on the inside of the top of the box. Uh, so the first thing they have on there is the power arch, which is just this little thing that I'll show you uh, in a bit. Uh, it's on the bottom of the... The, it's on the sole of the binding. Um, the next thing they have is the canted chassis. Uh, not sure if I said that right, but whatever. Uh, 2.5 degrees, and that's pretty much it's. Uh, it's on a slope uh, from the outside of the binding to the inside, uh, and it's supposed to reduce stress on the legs to uh, make it more comfortable. And then the final one is the clamp, and that is just the thing that keeps the binding on the board uh, it holds the screw in place right where you want it to be okay so in the box we have the two bindings uh, there's also a little bit more that I'll show you soon um, but the main product that you uh, you've ordered or are thinking about ordering is the O'Brien GTX um, that is the gray colorway as I mentioned before and um, the on the left you see the unwrapped binding and on the right you see the wrapped binding uh, that's just how it comes in this uh, wrapping with the O'Brien branding on it um, and I'll show you what it looks like to unwrap them okay so as I said uh, the left one is in wrapping and is now not it also comes with some stuffing in the ankle to keep its form okay so now what is the product so the product is the O'Brien GTX binding um, mine's 11 to 13 that's the sizing for US and um, the binding has three velcro straps that uh, are branded to help you keep locked in place um, with a, an easy to adjust fit so those are the bindings um, me and Jack are gonna be doing a review on them uh, in the summer so be prepared for that um, we're gonna get onto some more stuff in the box. Here we have the two other items that come in the box besides the bindings, and they are laid out on the paper that the br bindings were wrapped in. So the item on your left is the um, the screws, the six millimeter screws that the bindings come with, and uh, these are just similar to most other boards. Um, if you lose them, it's not too bad. There's many other people have them, so you should be fine. And on the right are the clamps which are shown on the box um, a more important item not as easy to get and uh, they also have different ones for the inside of the binding and the outside of the binding so okay so on the left you have the screw and on the right you have the washer uh, four of each of these come in the box and these are like I said not much of a problem if you were to lose them Okay, so these are the clamps that were on the package. Um, these are just two of the four that you get. Uh, one of them is an outside one, which I believe is this one with the triangles on it. Not sure if you can really make that out, but there are... Oh no, this one has circles on the top, my bad. Um, I believe that's the inside of the binding. I will show you me putting them on soon. But as you can see, it says O'Brien on the bottom here, and it has circles on the top. And this other one is, I'm pretty sure, for the outside of the binding. I might be wrong. Anyway, it has triangles on top and O'Brien on the bottom again. Um, so these pretty much go into the side of the binding and hold these screws in place. Um, so I'll show you that right now. Okay, so this is the inside of one of the bindings. And um, as you can see, the one with these circles on it. Uh, not sure if it'll focus on that. Anyway, the one with the circles on it uh, goes on the inside and the circles face away from the binding so they simply go in there you can make it whatever you want you can fiddle around with them uh, and then as I said you just pop the screw in there and it'll screw right into the board 
Okay, so here's the outside of the binding. Uh, not as much space to move it around, but you don't really need much. Uh, so you can simply put the one with the triangles in here, as you can see. And you then put the screw in, as I said, into here. And you can screw it right into the board. Alright, so as you can see, this is the binding. Um, there are the three Velcro straps. Uh, they are pretty strong, pretty durable. Um, there's also a little loop on the back so you can help you get into the boots. Uh, it's not very hard to get in. They are actually quite easy to get on and off. Um, but with the Velcro straps on, they're not going to come off your feet in the water uh, when you don't want them to. Okay, now to take a look at the other side of the boot. Um, there's some GTX branding over by the center strap and there's also an ultralight branding up at the ankle uh, which pretty much means they just used um, some light material to make it as light as possible. Now here is the bottom of the boot right out of the box. Um, there are two stickers on the front which say the sizing and something else. Uh, the outlined in blue is their power arch which looks like a little piece of carbon fiber. It may or may not be, I'm not sure and the rest of the gray is some supportive cushioning. Uh, so that is it for the O'Brien GTX box opening. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and also comment what you want to see next. Um, we will be posting a lot in the summer. Uh, we can't do much in the winter, so if you want to see any lists, videos of wakeboarding or anything, uh, leave that in the comments below. We could get to that. Uh, we don't have much to do in the winter, so give us something to do. Uh, that's Simon Wake. Peace out.